So today's video is going to be a kind of like a hot girl summer, summer glow up transformation video whatever you want to call it because lord knows i need all the help i can get so i've done one of these videos before where i kind of did like a five like a 500 dollars plus transformation where i got my hair done my nails done my lashes done I'm gonna do that again today so we're gonna well not today but over the part, next couple of few days i'm gonna do my hair my nails my tan makeup i don't get my lashes done anymore at the moment so we're not gonna be doing fake lashes i'm excited for this video i love transformation videos i think they're so much fun so today i'm gonna be getting my hair done this is what my hair looks like at the moment it probably won't look drastically different she'll probably just pop a toner on it because it looks a bit like orangey in some parts i'm just gonna pop on a little bit of makeup because i look like this before we get started though make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave and go ahead and follow me on instagram because that's when i notify you guys when i post all of my videos so yeah off to the hair salon we go i'm probably gonna look a lot better already in the next few clips so Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now Okay, so I just got out of the hair salon and I'm so happy with the results. We just wanted to like freshen it up. We just popped like a little toner in. I think it looks so pretty. I think next time I go in, which would be right before I go to Canada, we might add like extra light pieces just so it's like, you know, majority blonde. But I love it. I love the color. Like the tone of this blonde is probably like my favorite that I've ever had. Hair is now done. The next step, I think, it's kind of weird to do hair at the beginning, but that's just when my appointment was. But I think next up might be nails. We shall see, but I'm probably gonna have to scrub off my tan today, but I really need to go. People are watching me. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my God, there's police. Oh God. Where we're going, we're going nowhere. Where we're going, we're going nowhere. Not very cute, is it? I get so many questions about how I do my nails because I've mentioned many times on my channel before and on my Instagram that I do my own nails. I basically have been doing my own like acrylic nails since I was in high school. I find this way to be one so affordable and like cheap to do, it cost me next to nothing. Two, I'm the type of person that loves to like take creative control over things like this. I did at one point do SNS or like dip acrylic nails for a bit, but I I found them to be really, really time consuming and I thought this way was so much easier and the result was basically the same. Please remember I'm not a nail technician. My natural nails are in bad shape because I don't take good care of them. So this actual method hasn't like damaged my nails. I have damaged my nails by like ripping them off when they're not ready to come off. But you guys have asked it so many times, I'm gonna show you. So for a while I used to buy this little kit from Kmart for like 15 or so dollars and I think you got 200 nail tips and I used to use that. However, I Recent, not even recently, I've had this for a while and it still lasts me. I got it off Amazon. It was like a 500 piece coffin tip clear nail something something. Like you just basically type on Amazon nail tips and you can pick what shape you want, what length you want. This is by the brand McCart. I don't, and these are coffin nails and they are long. I know a lot of people really don't like my long nails because I make them long, but I just love them. They're kind of like my thing. I feel like among my friends, I'm just like known for having these crazy long nails. Sometimes I'll cut them short, but most of the time I just love them long. I love making my fingers look long because I have very like short nail beds and I have sh like small hands. So I like to elongate them as much as possible. So what better way to do that than just making them like five inches long, you know? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick them all out, get all my sizes, you can just like line them up to your nails and I set them all out and then I'll show you the next thing to do. This is what my nails look like when I set them out. I put them in order from like thumb to pinky, you know, so. Now I'll do one of two things. I will either glue them on as they are, cut them and then paint them on my hands or if I wanna be like extra, I will paint them before I glue them on, let them dry overnight and then just glue them on the next day. I think I'm gonna do that one just so they have time to set because I don't have gel nail polish. I don't use like a UV light. I just use normal nail polish, but you can do it either way and they work fine. And for nail polish, I normally paint them white. White is like my signature color. Love it, especially with a tan. But I recently picked up this nail polish. It's by Sally Hansen. It's the Argan Oil Formula. It's in the color Blue Bell Bloom. It's like a very pretty pastel 
blue colour. It looks so gorgeous. I like to get a piece of paper and I'll use some tweezers. I'll grab it at the very end like that. If you can see, it's hard because they're clear. And I will basically paint the entire nail purely for the fact that I have them super, super long. Obviously, if you don't have them super long, you could just paint like halfway or so, but I like them long. <laughs> This may seem so weird to people, but I don't know, do other people do this? Am I just a psycho? I don't know. This is so weird, man. There we have the nails. Please excuse my natural nails. I know they look gross. Then I'm gonna take the nail polish. I'm gonna need quite a lot and just paint it on like so. I hope this is in focus. And then that's what the nail looks like. I have a feeling I will do a second coat with this one just because it is like a light nail polish and then I just pop it down on my piece of paper and then I grab the next one. I think this packet of nails cost me like eight dollars or something. This color is so pretty. Like look at that. So nice. But yeah it's super easy especially since these are already in the shape that I like my nails to be. The nails that I used to use weren't in my like desired shape so I would like glue them on and file them but that was kind of a little bit more time consuming. I would recommend finding a shape that you really like so you don't really have to file it that much because it cuts down a lot of the time. Okay and that is one set done and then I move on to the next one. So those are my nails. I'm gonna let those sit overnight and then tomorrow I'm gonna glue them on it's so simple now what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop, pop in the shower or the bath i don't really know what is flashing zero minutes left solid i'm gonna hop in the shower i'm gonna scrub off this old nasty fake tan you know when it starts to really crack around your fingers that's me at the moment so please excuse the mess in the background but it's now the next day i've scrubbed off all my tan as you can see first things first i'm going to put up my hair and i'm going to go to town i'm going to be using my tried and true loving tan two hour express in dark but i shaved i exfoliated this morning it's now around 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon so my pores will have closed up which is very important because i hate getting all like the little black dots on my legs rightio i normally start with my legs but i feel like i'll start with my arms so one, two, I'll do two pumps for my arms. I really do, it's just, yes, get that bad boy on there. There's something about using a fresh um, tanning mitt that is like no other. I just realized I didn't put any moisturizer on. to apply my nails. I haven't washed off my tan yet, but I feel like I'm not gonna have enough time since I'm flying to Sydney tomorrow. Here are my nails. They're all dry now, so it's time for the fun part and to glue them on. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in to my fingers, my gross ass fingers. <laughs> okay, so what I've already done is I've pushed back my cuticles and like buffed my nails. So the surface of them is like a little bit rough. Reason being is because the glue is gonna adhere the nail tips a lot better on like a rough, rough surface. This is the nail glue that I use. I get it from Kmart. You can literally buy it anywhere. I think they probably sell it at Woolworths. It's the Nailene Ultra Quick Nail Glue and it's my favorite. I This is the only nail glue I've ever used. It works so well. It dries within seconds. You gotta be careful though to kind of use the right amount. I still really haven't mastered it. Sometimes it can spill out on the edges, but like you kind of learn how much to use for each finger. So basically the pinky nail is gonna go like that. I'll put a tiny drop of glue like that. You can't even see it. I'm going to glue on the nail tip. You want to make sure it's straight so I kind of pop it down and then I'm just going to press it down like so and then it's literally already glued on there which is crazy but I just like to hold it for probably like 20, 15, 20 seconds and that's the one nail done and then I just do the rest of them. It's super simple. I'm going to pop a drop of glue like so. You definitely want to do your best to make sure it's straight because like I said this glue dries so quickly. Okay, so once I've got all the nail tips on, I'm going to trim them to my desired length. So literally all I'm going to do is go bang, bang. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the trimmed nail tips there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to file the edges just because obviously I just trimmed them. And you can use a regular file for this. I actually have this little file kit that I got from Kmart. It was literally $10. It's like a little e-file type of thing and you push it up and it has the file at the top. And I just go bang, 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 bang. It takes me like two seconds. And that is the finished result for my nails. I'll be able to show you better um, like in the following clips. So nails are now complete. Myself inside the jewels. Right, yo friends, we've made it to the final stage. Before we get into the makeup, I want to point out that I did happen to shorten my nails like the first time in forever. I'm doing a lot of editing at the moment and short fingernails are so much easier to type on a keyboard. So, so I've curled my hair. I can never do it as good as they do it in the salon. This will do for a bit of a glow up. I'm going to do a little bit of skin prep so I can look as best as humanly possible. I want to talk about this new brand that has launched at Sephora. It's called the Inky List. And I love this brand for a number of reasons. One, they're super affordable. I, for one, don't love spending a hundred plus dollars on like a serum. Even if it is like life changing, it's still kind of like. <sighs> Ooh. So the Inky List is super, super affordable and they have a massive range of products. Plus, each product will tell you how to use it, why you should use it, when to use it. And those things are really, really helpful because sometimes when you have all these skincare products, you don't really know what order to use them in. Whereas the Inky List will tell you, which is really helpful because I love layman's terms. Like, just tell me. So as you guys know, I was on Accutane for nine months. I came off in June of this year. I do get a lot of questions from you guys about like, how am I maintaining my clear skin? One thing I am finding the further and further I get off of Accutane I've noticed my skin has become a little less what's the word invincible I think obviously I haven't like broken out but I've noticed that I've been getting a little bit of texture breakouts here and there so I still have to be careful with the products that I use and I do treat my skin as acne prone because it is acne prone I had acne for a very long time I'm gonna be talking about two products that I've been loving lately for my skin um, I'm gonna have to look up how to pronounce this though NIA I studied law at QUT in Brisbane. How is this video a minute long? Come on. Naya Cinemide. Niacinamide. I was not pronouncing it like that. In my, you know when you pronounce something in your head and then you hear how it's actually pronounced, you're like, whoa, that's not what I was doing. So this is niacinamide. Sounds super scary. And this is probably like one of my favorite things for keeping pimples and acne at bay. If you read the labels on a lot of like acne specific products, a lot of them will have what is it called again? Niacinamide. A lot of them will have niacinamide in it, which is amazing. So niacinamide is really, really good for oily skin. Even though I don't particularly have oily skin necessarily, it still does a really good job at keeping acne at bay. One thing it's really good at doing is decongesting the skin, which is something that I suffer with a lot. I get a lot of texture on my jawline here. I had a lot of bumps on my forehead recently, but I started using this and it cleared it up like that. It's also really good for redness, which is something that I suffer from quite a bit, actually. I do get red cheeks fairly often. I always talk about it. Love this. This is a very good product. If you have acne, highly recommend. So you can use this in the morning or you can use it at nighttime. So I've already cleansed my skin like I normally would. And then I'm going to apply this as kind of like my serum today. I'm going to use just a pea size amount. Next product I'm going to talk about is this bad boy, polyglutamic acid. I'm sure a lot of you know about hyaluronic acid. I feel like hyaluronic acid is just everywhere. It's a really good hydrator for the skin. Polyglutamic acid is actually a lot better. Like it holds moisture in the skin four times as much as hyaluronic acid does. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I put this on my skin, I feel so plump. I get so many compliments on my skin whenever I include this, like on my in my morning routine. It makes my skin look smoother. It gives the plumping effect. It works really well as a base for makeup, which is what we're doing today. So I'm gonna pop this on before my moisturizer. Pop that on. I'm definitely going to take this like on my carry-on when I go to the US on that very long haul flight and apply this <laughs> throughout the flight because I want my skin to stay hydrated. So, and then as a moisturizer, I'm gonna use this, which, oh my God. I think I'm gonna have to Google how to say that as well. I'm gonna talk about Bacuchiol. Bacuchiol. Be Bacuch I'm so sorry. So this is a really fancy sounding moisturizer. It's really good for stimulating collagen, boosting skin elasticity, and it's so good for moisture. It helps to really like enforce that moisture barrier, which I've already got the freaking polyglutamic acid on there. So this just locks everything in. I think if you're a fan of retinol, I definitely recommend you try this. It's kind of like an alternative to that. And you can use this in the morning or in the evening after you put on your serum. So that's what I'm gonna do. Can you like see though, the glassiness of my 
skin. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So yeah, if you guys are interested in the inky list, everything will be listed in the description box below. They are at Sephora, which is really, really great. I'm gonna quickly pop on my eyebrows and then I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna conceal my lids first and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way. I think I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. I'm gonna first dip into Swarm. Blend that into my crease. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so. Next, I'm gonna dip into Keeper. Deepen that outer portion. Oh, my eye is sore out there. I don't know what I've done. No friends of mine. Around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now. I think I'm gonna go straight into Sting, which is the dark brown. I really like the color of that brown, actually. And I'm gonna use some of the lighter, darker browns. Lighter, darker browns. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sweet kind of on my lid and then I'm gonna use some of the other shades to kind of just blend it because I want the lid to be kind of brighter but not really look like there's anything there. I don't know. I'm gonna pop on some winged liner. Yes, you heard that correctly, folks. Winged liner. Do I want to clean this up first? Hold your horses. Might just waste away, don't know what life about. So, moving on to the face. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow Illuminator in Universal. I love this stuff. If you want to look glowy, this is it. It smells really good too. You're going to look like the Tin Man, but in a good way. For foundation, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter in the shade 310G Armoretti. For my concealer, I'm going to use my favorite combo at the moment, which is the Born This Way. This is in the color Almond. And then I'm gonna use the Benefit Boeing Concealer in the shade three. This one is super full coverage. Okay, before I set my under eyes, I'm gonna use this Iconic London Illuminator Drops. I've never used these before. I've used a fake version from Wish, which feels like yonks ago. I'm gonna pop that on my cheekbones. And I'm gonna go over this with a powder highlight. So hopefully it's gonna be super blinding. Ooh. Now I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm gonna use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And then to brighten everything up, I'm gonna use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. This stuff is brightening. Ooh, mama. My under eye. Chin, forehead. I'm gonna set my face using the Benefit Velvet Hello Happy Powder Foundation. I'm just gonna give everything a quick spray just to settle everything down. Moving on to the face, I'm first gonna use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, my favorite bronzer ever. <laughs> then to add even more warmth, because I wanna look really bronzy today, I'm in a bronzy mood. I'm gonna take my Alexis Ren X Colourpop Bronzer in Topaz, and I'm gonna lightly dust this because this is very warm and I don't wanna look like a pumpkin. I always put bronzer on my ears so my ears don't look white. I'm gonna add a touch of blush. This is Milani Luminoso. Touch on the nose, darling. For highlighter, I'm gonna use the Cleopatra's Kiss Sleek Highlighter. It's so good. Now for lips, okay. I'm gonna take my NYX lip liner in the color Free Spirit and I'm gonna line my lips with that. And then I'm just gonna top it with the ColourPop. The label is completely rubbed off. It's in the color Brown Sugar, I'm pretty sure. Okay, my loves, that is the final transformation. I love how my makeup turned out. Very glam, but very like classy as well, I think. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. All the Inky List info will be in the description box below. And as always, I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I shall see you in my next one. Bye. Breaking news, got me breaking, 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 breaking. I was present, hopeless, praying, 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 praying. Struck down at 20, plenty left to put behind you. You ain't peaked.